Good morning, everyone. It is currently like 9.31 in the morning. Um, I haven't been active on YouTube, but I came up with this idea. Mother's Day is literally tomorrow, and I want to take some photos with my son, so... <laughs> So I want to attempt to take some photos just because you guys let's just be honest he is getting bigger and bigger by the day like I don't even know where the time goes but every time I look at him I'm just like you know just like any other mom proud as fuck happy and I know for a fact he's gonna be taller than me like oh, he's gonna be tall like his dad his dad is like stupid tall so but let's be honest what the fuck is happening to my face right now I do want to film, like, me getting ready, like, for this little shoot that I'm going to do with my son. I'm, I'm making it sound like if I'm, like, a good photographer. Look, you guys, I'm telling y'all, this iPhone 11 Pro camera is life. And then all you have to do is go to your camera settings and put it on. You know what? Hold up. Let me, let me screenshot it for y'all so y'all can see it. But enough of the yapping because I'm I'm so good at that, you know. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish this coffee, I'm gonna start getting ready and bring you guys along. Detail check. My earrings are from HM and then this necklace. Everyone always thinks it's so real, but it's from XIXI Shop XIXI by Adrian Bailon. I love her jewelry, the quality of everything is so good. I'm trying to like lay this flat. I got it flat, so I'm trying to like, maybe I'm not gonna see. Ah, I did it. Okay. To moisturize my skin, I've been using the It Confidence in a Cream. I am loving this stuff lately. It just keeps my skin moisturized. It's my go-to. I don't want to get some more of this. And I like the scent of it because it's just so freaking refreshing i need to learn to be more gentle with my skin but the way i am rushing right about now oh well i do want to keep it very minimal when it comes to my makeup today i am going to put on makeup but i don't want to go extreme as i usually do so let's try because every time i say i want to go very <laughs> minimal i end up going very heavy all right let's do this love this stuff right now Too Faced Do You Super Glow. It does have a shine to it. And I hate when that happens, like this little dot. Now, I'm not a big fan of like the shimmer, but it's under foundation. And honestly, it smells so good and has my skin just looking like it's glowing and ting. So it is definitely a must. But eventually, I want to like switch this up. Um, I want to put this like anything on this side i do want to like switch this out maybe have it looking a little bit more nicer with my books and stuff <laughs> i'm very like messy right now you guys don't mind that but i'm gonna use my dewy plus smooth fit me foundation first shade i'm going into is 322 warm honey just because my skin well my face is so much lighter than my skin and so what i'm gonna do is just go into this one and then just kind of like dot it up and then apply a lighter one just to mix then i'm just going to dab all over my face with my real techniques beauty sponge it's damped i feel like every time i use that darker foundation i like kind of orange but then when i put my skin i'm like okay so then I don't like the look of it. But I haven't really found like the perfect foundation that like really matches my skin. So that's why I kind of just work with what I have and try to like color match myself. <laughs> because every time I would go to like um, Ulta, it would either give me a foundation that was 
way too light or they would assume that I was a foundation way too dark. So it really, really sucks. Now I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade Natural and just add this to normally where I like to conceal, which is my under my eyes, my chin, my nose, my forehead, blah. Boom, once that's on, just blend it out with the other side of the Real Techniques sponge that I just used. Just lightly patting it out so that you get that bright under eye. You guys can go very light. I just prefer a bright under eye because I do have very dark circles. And I want to look like rise and shine. Rise and shine. I'm still like shocked that I've been a mom for eight years you guys <laughs> like it's still so like crazy i remember like being younger and always saying i'm never gonna have kids and then after i had my son life was so much different i'm telling you guys like those motherly instincts kick in right after you have your kid and it's like the best freaking feeling in the world because they are so just like you there are many yous and oh my goodness I ain't getting emotional in this video, but I love the shit out of my kid. And those who really know me and have been around me and my kid know how much I love this boy beyond words. Hopefully in the future he'll see this and he'll understand. Mama love you. Mama always loved you. Okay. That's everyday vacay coconut setting powder. Just a very little bit on this Real Technique setting brush just to kind of pat it in to avoid under my eye from creasing because I crease really, really bad under my eyes. I'm telling you guys, Botox is like, girl, come and get me, cause you need it. I gotta, I gotta really understand like the after effects in order to wanna get something. Like, I've still been, like, looking into lip injections, and that's going to definitely happen. It's just, I gotta really find a good place where I feel comfortable to get something done. But I'm not against it. I definitely want it. I thought I was recording. Turns out the camera was not even recording. But I am literally so over my eyebrows, you guys. Like, they need help. Literally need help. And I had a battery for that damn fire alarm shit, too. So I feel like it just sounds so wretch. Wretch is fuck. Just trying to get my eyebrows at a decent state right now because, <laughs> oh my goodness, these poor little brows of mine. If you're thinking about plucking, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be letting these girls, like, fill your minds up. Oh, you could just clean up your eyebrows. Trust me, just cleaning up your eyebrows equals to fucking up your eyebrows. Kind of digging this, even though they kind of look split. This one's my favorite eyebrow, period boo. And that's the one that has the least hair. <laughs> I'm going to use the Hourglass, what is this? Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I barely use this. But I do want it to kind of like look wispy up here. So I'm just going to run that through the brows. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm going to where did he go? Damn, where the fuck did it go? Now it's a console with my face. I'm going with my face. <laughs>
All right, you guys, to contour, I'm using the Kylie Jenner bronzer. This is in almond, my go-to. And I'm just using this e.l.f. blending brush. It's like this. I just used this yesterday in my bag, you know. Sometimes I just got to do what you got to do. Because this is my favorite brush, definitely, for contouring. I love this brush. Just gets in there. And I kind of just pat it in before blending it. And I learned to do one side of my face first. I had a habit of, like... And you could go light or heavy depending on your preference of contouring. Get a jawline. And then I like to kind of drag it down the neck. Going into the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer just to bronze up a little bit more. Plus, this has some sheen to it to make me look, you know, mommy glow. This and I, oh my goodness, I love the scent of this. The way it looks is just so gorge. I feel like in the lighting, it kind of has like those little you know, gold specks, but overall, it's a bomb. Oh girl, bronzer, just kind of run it over where I just contoured. Do that, almost forgot. My air spun translucent powder. I'm just gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This is my jam, you guys. I love this stuff. I love the smell of it. All of that. I need to get more of these because these are bomb. And look at that. A little bit goes a long way, honey. I use my Morphe setting spray. This is the continuous setting spray. Then with my hand. Nose ring and boom. So I wasn't going to apply lashes, but the way I'm set up, I feel like it's always a necessity for me. I remember using this for the first time freshman year of high school, and I was so freaking scared of it. I was like <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, what does it do? But honestly, look at that. Middle eyes lashes. Okay, let me apply my lashes. I'm going to be using the Ilier Vegas Nay Lashes. I absolutely love these lashes so much. They're just so wispy, the perfect length, the perfect volume, and the band. Just, oh, I'll be back. Oh, by the way, you guys, I gotta talk about this because, oh my goodness. Um. I reached back out to the lash company. I'm not sitting here to talk crap about them. However, I got some stuff to say, okay? So when I ordered the lashes, the lashes were all $2.99. I was with it. I was okay with that because, I mean, who doesn't like a good lash deal? Lashes, especially like minks, are really expensive. So, um, and these are like very comparable lashes. So I probably ordered maybe April 6th, April 16th, one of the two. And you guys, my lashes still haven't came. The, whoever this person that owns this company kept reaching back out, talking about some, that it's obviously USPS because of the COVID, all this stuff. I'm convinced my lashes are lost, missing in action because there was another girl who contacted me via Instagram and she tells me she just got her lashes yesterday. And so she's showing me the whole thing. And I'm like, damn, we got similar lashes. How come I didn't get mine? I reached back out to that company yesterday because I just want to be refunded. I, uh, I'm over it. But I ended up going to Target just to get these just because I was like, you know what, screw it. But you know what, you guys? I feel like these lashes are so much different. I used them for my wedding and I felt like they were more wispy, if anything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Oh my gosh. Why is my nose always got to run? Like, I better go catch it. <laughs> like, I feel like the band doesn't even want to lay flat at this point. Yeah, it 
during my wet man what's going on with these lashes it was so wispy and pretty i feel like they changed the band the hairs is not as wispy let me find out how to take my opinion back <laughs> i love these lashes what happened The reality of it is the lashes have a clear band now. I noticed that. And so I need to put... I don't know why I don't. I normally notice it after I freaking do, like, take my pictures. But I need to start putting, like, black liner in my waterline, like, on my top lash line. Because... Oh, my God. Look at that cream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Vitalist Healthy Glow highlighter illuminator okay let's try it. it's like a rose gold to me it kind of comes off as rose gold i'm with it it's a very soft glow like a very natural glow i like that if you really want to fuck me that's how i feel Oh, yes. oh. In Boom. I'm ready. Alright, I gotta get my kid ready. 